I never thought I would do do one about a about a school shooting, but eh, it is what it is, man. This is a request video. Oh, hold on, before I start anything. This hi, my name my name is Sean Fisher, aka Sun of Sky Sacer, aka Dark Side Two K Seven, aka Sean and 1986. You know it's serious when I'm using my real name first instead of my usual tagline though. This is a request video by Nets World, who wants me to talk about the whole about this one. As you may know, on May 24th, 2022, 18-year-old you know, Salvador Ramos opened fire at a Rob Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, United States, killing 19, killing 19 children and two teachers, and wounding 17 others. For so technically, means he killed 21 people. Earlier that. Earlier that day, he shot and wounded his 66-year-old grandmother. Now, this is a tragic situation. Now, this is a tragic situation, and my heart and all I can say is that my heart goes out to the victims, to victims of this census shooting. Thoughts and prayers. That's all I can give. All I can give them. And everybody's trying to make make sense of this whole situation. However, when it comes to the world, however, when it comes to the world of fucking politics. Democrats, including Democrats, they have to come out and they have to come out and try and use this tragedy to push their bullshit agenda because of course they fucking would. And of course they fucking would. I mean, seriously, the body's not even goddamn cold. The body's not even fucking cold or at the morgue or give the family time to grieve. No, they, when they see a tragedy, they're like, oh shit. Well, guys, you know what time it is? It's time to push for, push for gun control. Yeah, I mean, let's be real. Let's be real on the whole situation. To Democrats, never, never let a tragedy go the fucking ways. And trust me, they do that shit religiously. Well, can't say religiously. These guys are evil as fuck, in my team. Yeah, I mean now, I mean as you can go on, if you go on Google right now, as we speak, there has been lots of articles, with some actually going after, um, with some of even going after the Republicans, with Peter, with, with, uh, Peter O'Rourke saying, telling, uh, Greg Abbott, who's the gov Greg Abbott, uh, Governor Greg Abbott, this is on you. Yes, because, yes, because, yes. Let's blame, and like, instead of trying to blame the shooter who did this crime, yes, let's blame everyone but the fucking shooter because this happens on them. And to no one's fucking surprise, you got, and it ain't just for politics, politics too. You got NBA head coach Steve Kerr of the Golden State Warriors who dirt, who who blamed Republicans for what happened in Texas after the, after the war after last night's Warriors after last night's loss against the Dallas Mavericks with a chance with the map with the Warriors had a chance to sweeping the Dallas sweeping the Dallas Mavericks now now they have to play a game five game five which is probably be tomorrow night and you have. And you have Michael Moore, who is considered a fat piece of shit, who is now going on a rallying cry to have to have the Second Amendment be be banned because of this. And yes, yes, of course, of course, you know where I'm going with. Yes, President Joe Biden has now come out and said that we need tough. He's going to use this. And every Democrat's gonna use this tragedy that happened in Texas to push for tougher and stricter gun control laws. Listen, I'm not gonna shit up. Listen, I'm not going to shit. I'm not gonna stand on the graves of victims and say some bullshit like, oh, they had it coming because that would be evil. That would be evil, and I'm not evil. Well, no, no. Real life evil, just when, when I play, you know, game, when I play, you know, um, NBA 2K Playgrounds 2 or WWE, when it's competition, my evil side comes out. Because I, I play merciless. That's, that's all here today. I'm just, I'm just so sick and tired how every time there's a fucking tragedy, 
instead of our world leaders trying to come to get, help, help a community come together and try to solve what happened, they decided to use this strategy. They decided to use the tragedy to push whatever bullshit agenda they do. And honestly, I'm sick and tired of it. And here's the thing. Y'all, everyone's screaming, oh, we need gun control. We need gun control. Yeah. Um, have anyone not seen what Chicago's been doing? Chicago. Chicago, Illinois. A city that has the strictest fucking gun laws on the fucking books. And yet, people are still getting killed by criminals with guns. Honest, honestly, I mean, yeah, you can have more gun control law, but you, I mean, yeah, you can add more gun control that could, that could put a bad error, or maybe just do, or maybe just find a way how these census, um, these census murders happen, these census tragedies happen, happen, or oh, better yet, oh yeah, I mean, or to have the FBI do something, do something, because here's the thing. The shoot the gunman who committed that shit posted his plans on Facebook prior to the fucking attack. Like that's an automatic red flag, and the FBI should have, and the FBI, the CIA, and the police department should have got, should have hopped on this shit and prevent this. All this right here could have been preventable, but for some reason it just happened anyway because. Bullshit reasons. <sighs> I'm so sick of, you know, I'm so sick and tired of this shit. I'm tired. I'm tired of the bullshit, all right? I'm tired of the same shit that happens every single goddamn fucking week. And you want to know something? You know what? You want to know, you really want to know something that really scares the fuck out of me? Nothing's gonna fucking change. Nothing's ever gonna fucking change. I mean, yeah, you Democrats gonna say, oh, we need gun control. What's... You think that's gonna stop? Here's the thing. Gun control can only help, can only do so much. Repealing the Second Amendment ain't gonna do jack shit. Because no matter what you motherfuckers do... People, they're gonna still get fucking guns. You ever heard of the black market? I mean, hello? Ugh. Fuck my life, fuck my life. No, the fuck you, Steve Girl. Trying to, trying to, um, trying to blame Republicans on this shit. Yeah, because, you know, that's always good. Whenever a tragedy happens, when a shooting happens, let's blame Republicans. Let's blame Republicans for this shit. But if something happens in a fucking democratic city, democratic city, city, oh, let's not blame the Democrats. They're they're the good side. Man, fuck you, man, fuck you. Oh God. I mean, you really wanted this video? You really wanted this video, man? I mean, oh, I, I mean, I know I, what I was about to say. I know what I was gonna say. I was afraid I was gonna say it, but I had to do it anyway because why not, right? God, like I said, hope to God this is. God, I don't have to do another one of these videos again. It's really bad, man. I mean, come on, man. And also, I do request, but please give me something I can rant about. Like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Make me. I don't know. Uh, like you know, put in the comments. Like I don't know. Make me want. Let me rant about. Oh, I don't know. In the Rescue Ranger, in the Chippendale Rescue Rangers Disney Plus movie, Gadget is, Gadget Hackman's is married, is married to Zipper, and it has 42 kids. I bet you that wouldn't done to death. Or, I don't know, Baker Mayfield's a bitch, LeBron James, it's LeBron James, all that. But yeah, I, I don't like to, yeah, I have to do, th this kind of stuff right here, it's like, ugh. I mean, I can talk about anything, but when it comes to to shootings that had that involves kids, man, mm, not my thing, not my thing. But yeah, like I said, my thoughts and prayers go out to these kids. I, my thoughts and prayers go out to the to the victims of the 19 kids and the two teachers. 
and to every fucking politician and leftist idiot who is using this tragedy, who's using this fucking tragedy to push this whole, oh, we need gun control bullshit, y'all can go to straight to fucking hell. Because let's be real. Y'all couldn't, y'all couldn't do it by, no. y'all couldn't push for gun control, gun control the old fashioned way. No, you want to do that shit. Y'all want to do this shit when a tragedy fucking happens. And same on the police, and same on the FBI and the CIA who saw this post on this, on this 18 year old motherfucker posted on fucking Facebook and did jack shit about it. You want to, I mean, if you want to blame the Republicans, that's all, want to blame the Republicans on this bullshit, then you're fucked in the head, and you have a reason. But honestly, maybe you should start worrying about, maybe you should look, wait before you jump to conclusions. Oh, wait, who, who, who the, oh, wait, what the, oh, who the hell am I kidding? We're dealing with fucking idiot leftists who tend to jump on things without even a second goddamn fucking thought. And yet we have to listen to these idiots rapping about climate change or sexism or racism or ma or toxic masculinity or whatever goddamn bullshit they have to say. Ugh. Jesus Christ, 35. Jesus Christ, 35 years on this fucking earth and I had to deal with the most stupidest shit that ever happened on this earth. You better live too goddamn long. Like the old saying goes, either die a hero or live long enough to become a villain. And I'm getting dangerously close to becoming a fucking villain. Man. Fuck. Anyway, th that's all. Anyway, that's all for now. I just had to put that out there. But like I said, it's a request video, and I gotta honor my requests. So, you know... Thank you for giving me this request, Nets World, and uh, hey, maybe maybe next year, maybe next year you guys won't get swept. Oh, uh, and if you're gonna shit on my Lakers, feel free. We we ain't shit anyway. But anywho, that's just what I I just wanna put this out there. As always, be sure to leave a comment, like this video, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell so you don't miss our updates. Share with your friends, share with your neighbors, share with your others. And that's about it. Until next time, this is Dark Side 2K7, aka Sun Sky Zater, signing off. Thank you for watching this video. It really means a lot. And I will see you in the next one. Catch you later. Peace. I'm serious about. But. But. All serious though, I I'm dead serious about the gadget Marion, Marion Zipper uh, thing. Because it was like. A, a, seriously, a what the fuck moment, man. Hey, yo, what the fuck?